And we are taking a live look at Chicago tonight, where crime is dominating the race for mayor. And moments ago, the Associated Press called the race. Mayor Lori Lightfoot will not advance to the runoff. She is the first incumbent seeking re-election in Chicago to fail to win in four decades. Chicago, like Baltimore, is battling a crime crisis. And political experts here say this could be an indicator of things to come here in Baltimore. Fox 45's Jeff Abel joins us live now with a look at what Chicago's results could mean for Baltimore's mayoral race in 2024. Jeff. Well, you know, because Chicago's problems are very similar to the ones here in Baltimore, some political experts are closely watching this mayor's race, predicting what happened in Chicago could be an indicator of what happens here and other places. We're in a culture of death. At Huber Memorial Church, Reverend P.M. Smith says his congregation is losing patience over the crime that's killing the community and political leaders who have simply vanished. They are doing absolutely nothing. They're walking around like this. They don't hear my cries. They don't hear the cries of these weeping mothers. So we know that crime has become a major issue. There's a similar refrain in Chicago, which saw almost 700 homicides last year and where the mayor is now fighting for her political life. I didn't think anyone could take her on, but now she's polling number three. A recent poll by Northwestern University found that reducing crime was the top election issue among black voters, followed by the rising cost of living and police accountability. And the crime-fighting policies of the incumbent mayor are putting her under the microscope. I think crime is the ticket uh, and the issue that everyone is talking about, you know, because if you can't fix the crime issue, uh, you're going to mess up the tourist situation. She is basically the female counterpart of Mr. Uh, Scott. Because the problems and the politics in Chicago seem all too similar to the ones in Baltimore, Reverend P.M. Smith believes what happens in Chicago could serve as a wake-up call for those who may be failing in the war on crime. I'm hoping what happens in Chicago is um, a foretelling of what's going to happen here, what's going to happen in Detroit, what's going to happen in D.C., what's going to happen in Atlanta. We can't keep going like this. They overpromise and they underperform. We get nothing. Here in Baltimore, Mayor Brandon Scott has already indicated he does plan to seek re-election next year. We're live. Jeff Apel, Fox 45 News.